ocean feast in nowhere land. To nowhere land. Come along if you can. Hey ho, come on, let's go to nowhere land. With Maggie and the ferocious beast. Great googly moogly. Nothing like a good long nap in the afternoon. What have you got there? Oh, shovels! Yippee! Right, and we're gonna dig a hole. Oh, that's a great idea. Wait, I have to get something. <laughs> Thank you, Maggie. Hurry, Hamilton! We want to start digging! Here it is! Here it is! Look! I'll be the foreman, because I have the whistle. Whoa. Great googly moogly, Hamilton! You blew that right in my ear. Please be more careful. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Now, as I was saying, I have the whistle, so I'll be the foreman. Okay, Hamilton. What's a foreman? That means he'll be in charge of the digging. It's okay. It's his whistle. I think we should start right... Hamilton! Why don't you... Mm -hmm. Now, I'm in charge because I have the whistle. And I think Beast should pick the spot where we dig. Oh, thank you, Hamilton. Ooh, I want to pick just the right spot. Hmm. Mm, no. Hmm. Beast, we're waiting. Well, I have an important decision to make. Not here. Oh. Eureka! Right here! Oh, hello there. Yeah, yeah! Ah. Oh no, Hamilton, we'll have to find another spot. This one seems to be taken. Oh. I'm just trying to do my job. We know, Beast. Now go ahead. Here we go! <laughs> right here! It's a fine spot for digging. Stop! I didn't blow my work whistle. Okay, begin! an idea. Maggie, carry on. I have to get something from my box. Uh. Oh, Hamilton, that's great. Here, Beast. Your job is to warn passers-by that there's construction in progress. Oh, I like this. Now march up and down. Hi, guys. What are you doing? <gasps> Stand aside, Rudy. Keep back. We are digging a hole. You'll have to go around. Oh. Okay, I, I guess. Hey, can I help dig? Well, I'm the foreman. You're hired. That shovel's too big. I can't lift that. Hmm. Here you go. Now start over there. <laughs> oh boy, this is fun. Ah, lemonade break! Hooray! <laughs> oh, 
I wish you'd give me a warning. Mmm. Hamilton, that sure hit the spot. You said it, Beast. You know, that's a fine-looking hole, isn't it? Yes, it is, Beast. Okay, back to work. Before you <gasps> blow that thing again, how about another glass of lemonade? Digging sure makes you thirsty. Well, we are ahead of schedule. I don't see the harm in another glass. Beast, get ready. Thank you. Back to work. Stand back. Stand back. Stand back. Stand back. <laughs> Shoo. 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 Maggie, do you think this hole is big enough now? Um, I think maybe it could be a bit rounder. And we should smooth out the sides. Yes, I see. Okay, I guess. <laughs> wow, that sure is something. It's great. What's it for? Well... I was beginning to wonder that myself. Yeah, Maggie. What is the hole for? Oh, that's simple. We we dug this hole so we'd have a place to put all this dirt. What's the point of that? Yes, Maggie, what's the point of that? Well, didn't you all have a good time? Wasn't it fun? Yes, I had fun. Fun. Me too. Me three. Well, that leaves only one thing to do. <gasps> Wait! Go ahead! <whistles> Commence filling this hole. Commence means start. Oh! All right! Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Stand back! Stand back! I wish Hamilton would hurry. What's he doing? He's rearranging furniture. He's such a fusspot about his precious box. Hurry up, Hamilton! I'm rearranging my furniture. <laughs> <laughs> we want to get an early start. It's a perfect day for the beach. I'll be there in a minute. Keep your spots on. Did you pack the lunch? Yes. Did you pick the apples for dessert? Yes, I picked some beauties. And I got a cherry for Rudy. Finally. It's only a cardboard box, Hamilton. Hmm. To you, it may only be a cardboard box. But it's home to me. It's a place I can go for a while. Till it's time to face the world with a smile. A hole is a home to a fox. But to me, it's my cardboard box. It's my home. <laughs> 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 Great googly moogly, can we go now? We promised to wait for Rudy. Why does Rudy want to go to the beach? He can't go swimming, because his hat doesn't come off. I wish you would stop talking about Rudy's hat. I happen to think it's very strange that his hat doesn't come off. Yes, and my boots don't come off either, but we have a bigger problem right now. What's wrong, Rudy? Sidestep's castle got hit with a wave. It's gone. Who told you? One of the seagulls. He said Sidestep was really upset. We'd better hurry. We'll have to build him a new one. Good idea. I thought we were going swimming. 
Now we have to build another castle and sidestep is really hard to please. He doesn't seem to hear you, Maggie. He's in shock. C come on, fella. It's gonna be all right. Poor little guy. I'll get some water. Please, Sidestep. Don't be upset. What's wrong? What, what, what happened? Thank heavens you're all right. <gasps> My castle. My castle. It's gone. Gone forever. Don't worry. We're going to build you a new one. And it'll be even better than the old one. It couldn't possibly be better than my old one. My castle was perfect. It was my home. That's it. It was your home. Just like my box. <clears throat> Hamilton, we have a castle to build. There's no time for your box song. Oh, pish posh, I wasn't going to sing. You could have fooled me. Stop wasting time. Let's get started. It has to be exactly like the other one. All right, all right. Isn't that too close to the water? It's going to get hit with another wave. It has to be built where the sand is wet. If the sand gets too dry, the castle will crumble. This spot is perfect. Beast, smooth out that side. <laughs> <laughs> Hamilton, you work on the tower. What can I do, Maggie? As soon as this part is finished, you can start digging out the inside. Hold it. What do I use to dig with? Can't you just use your hands? No, wait! Rudy can use a spoon. I have a tiny one that I use for mustard. Hold on, it's in the lunch basket. What do you think, Sidestep? Uh, I don't know. I, I was happier with the old one. Sidestep, you're never happy. You're a crab. You could show a bit more gratitude. I'm, I'm grateful. It's just that you know, I miss my old home. Come on in, fella. Have a look around. You're going to love it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's have lunch. Okay. okay. So, sidestep, how's your new home? Well, it's good. It's good. You know, I, I think it'll be fine once I get used to it. And well, anyway, I, I guess I should thank you. So, thanks. You're welcome, sidestep. Now let's have lunch. Hmm. Won't you have one, Sidestep? Uh, no, thanks. I'm planning on having dinner in my castle later. How about dessert? The Beast picked some beautiful apples. Oh, and here's a cherry for you, Rudy. Thank you. I want this apple. That's the one I want. Why not cut the apple in half? Then you can each have some. Hold it! Hold it! <gasps> huh? Would you deny a poor little helpless worm his home? We're sorry, but couldn't you find another apple? You can't be serious. There isn't another apple that can take the place of this one. It's my home. I understand completely. I feel the same way about my box. It's getting late. I think we'd better go. Uh, listen guys, you're not going to leave me here, are you? Of course not. We'll take you along with us. 
Uh, goodbye, everybody, and, uh, and thanks. Bye, huh? Side Step. Bye, Side Step. Now, what's your name, little worm? My mother named me Patrick, on account of I'm green, don't you know? <laughs> <laughs> Which way did they go? <laughs> We've been waiting for you, Maggie. Hi, Beast. Hi, Hamilton. I'm so glad you brought the triplets. Ooh. Hi, Max. <gasps> Thank you, Max. <laughs> Hello, little Oscar. There you go, Zach. All right, now don't wander off. We have to decide where we're going today. Let's check the map. Hmm, what do you think? Hmm. Let's see. We could go back to Turkey Town. Yes, the triplets have never been there. Would you like to visit Turkey Town? <gasps> Where did they go? <gasps> Tumble and Teddy Bears, the car is gone too. We have to find them. <laughs> Let's hurry. They can't be too far. Don't count on it. Push! <laughs> oh, where can they be? I wish I knew. Beast, we're coming to Cheese Town. Let's see if we can find Rudy. Which way now, Maggie? Just keep going straight ahead, Beast.
Huh? Maggie, do you believe this? I wonder how long they've been here. Great googly moogly, how did they get so dirty? Oh, I better get the tub ready. <laughs> Maggie, he did it again. Oscar, stop splashing bees. And Max, please hold still. Max? Zach, how did you get mud in your ears? Maggie, he has mud in his ears. Oscar's clean enough, Maggie. Come back here! I'll get him. Max, don't move. I'll get the clean shirts. <laughs> Hamilton, must you do that now? I'll be finished in a minute. Well, I hope so. We have to decide where to go. I'm afraid there's only one place we can go. Where? It's time to take the triplets home. Oh, no. Come on. Help me put them in their car. Gee, Maggie, they're falling asleep. I'm afraid you're going to have to push them home. I think you're right, Hamilton. Bye! See you tomorrow! Bye! Bye, kids! Bye-bye! Oh. It's been quite a day. The poor little triplets didn't get to see anything interesting today. <laughs> what are you laughing at? It's just that when I gave Maggie the shirts that were covered with mud, I also found some turkey feathers. What? <gasps> you don't mean that they... Yes, I do. They must have gone to Turkey Town. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to go to Turkey Town. <laughs>